Hi everybody, this is your Phantoms preview. I'm Bob Rotruck. Adirondack Phantoms have another 3-3 three and three coming up. And uh, man, oh man, these are the toughest of all. But we better get used to them because we've got a lot of them coming up between now and the end of the season. In fact, the, the vast majority of our weekends are going to be these 3-3s. Three and threes. The good news for the Phantoms on this one, the first two of these games are at home and then it's not a very far trip for Sunday's game, which is to the Springfield Falcons Sunday at 3. Springfield, by the way, has the best record in the entire league. But maybe the games on Friday and Saturday are actually even more important technically for the Phantoms because these are two teams that are in that almost virtual tie for the eighth and final playoff spot of the Eastern Conference. Friday night, tonight against the Albany Devils, tomorrow night against the Worcester Sharks. They're right there in that playoff race, which to me, I think, makes them uh, basically four-point games in the standings as far as those are concerned. So $2 draft beers tonight against the Albany Devils. Looks like Scott Monroe probably going in goal. If you missed it last week, Cal Heater is now the backup goalie with the Phantoms because the veteran Brian Boucher up with the Philadelphia Flyers while Michael Layton is out with injury. Harry Zolnercheck is still up there at last report. Also, time again, who has been doing great, has scored goals in back-to-back -back games, gotten a fight on Tuesday as well, and I'll be having some of that audio for you coming up on the Bare Bones Furniture Intermission Report in tonight's broadcast. Tomorrow night's game, that's against the Worcester Sharks. Phantoms were able to go into Worcester, Mass. about a month ago, get a 2-1 to win. That's the only time we've played the Sharks this year, and tomorrow night's game will be Worcester's only appearance in Glens Falls this season. Should be two good crowds this weekend as well. 4,000-plus, I think we are expecting for tonight's game against Albany and maybe even larger than that for Saturday night hockey against the Worcester Sharks. And part of the excitement there, um, these things. Dax bobbleheads for the first 2,500 fans in attendance. I was looking on the bottom of this, and it says on the sticker, this is not a toy. Uh, it looks like a toy to me, but it's, it's a bobblehead figurine of everyone's favorite giant orange beaver mascot, Dax. And don't forget... I'm pointing with the Dax bobblehead now. Don't forget, next Sunday, uh, we have a game also in, in nine days as I record this. So Sunday, February 24th, Dax's birthday bash. And we've got the Dax jerseys, and we'll be auctioning those off after the game. And all kinds of mascots from around, including around the AHL and from the local area too, all getting together to help Dax celebrate and mascot hockey between periods. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've got other things in plan and in store for Dax's birthday as well. That is next Sunday at 5. I might have said Sunday at 3, but it's next Sunday at 5 against the Binghamton Senators. So we've got a lot going on. Garrett Rowe for tonight's game. Looks like he is healthy and ready to return to the lineup. Same for Matt Conan and Tyler Brown. If they're scratched tonight, then they would be healthy scratches. They missed last weekend with the flu, but they're past that. Mike Testweed, he is still out. He took a concussion on January 23rd in a hit in Connecticut and he's been out since then. However, he's been practicing this week, but give him a couple days before he's ready to return to the, the lineup full go. He's still in recovery mode, just returned to practice this past Tuesday, and it takes a little longer than that once you get your legs out uh, and under you once you're skating again. So looking forward to Mike Testweed coming back maybe next weekend, but Garrett Rowe coming back this weekend and probably tonight, it would appear in the lineup for the Adirondack Phantoms and the Albany Devils coming up at 7 o'clock. Albany had a three-game win streak, by the way, but they're angry after Wednesday night's game that ended their win streak. They lost at home to Syracuse 6 to nothing. This was a Syracuse team that was angry because they lost here in Adirondacks last game 6 to 1. Phantoms looking to build on them oh, that momentum of that great win from last Sunday. So game time tonight at 7. Broadcast for you as well at 6:30. Pepsi countdown to face off on Q101.7.